Hi, I'm Matt Geary, the new superintendent of the Manchester Public Schools, here with our first episode of MPS Pride, our new monthly television show designed to highlight the important work of the public schools in key areas of education. You can find our show every month on Channel 16 and at the Manchester Public Schools website. And now I'm joined by Hassan Robinson, new assistant principal at Bennett Academy. Welcome to Manchester, Hassan. Thank you for having me. Hassan, could you tell us a little bit about your background? Uh, I've been in education for probably 15 years now. Um, I started at a special education elementary school in Springfield. Um, I then went down to East Hartford, taught ninth grade, and then from there, sixth grade, and then fourth grade for the last eight years. Great. Can you tell us what drew you to come to and work for the Manchester Public Schools? Well, I think Manchester has that type of community and diversity that I've always wanted to work for. Um, I love the leadership here and I love the people here and I'm looking forward to building relationships with students, staff, and parents. Great. Could you tell us one or two things that maybe you're most excited about or you're most looking forward to doing over the next school year? Well, I'm definitely excited about Bennett Academy. The school is phenomenal. Um, the facilities are great. And I'm looking forward to meeting the staff and building relationships with the staff. I'm also looking forward to also being connected with the students because I'm very big on being in, included in students' lives at a, as a role model, um, obviously as an instructor. And I'm also looking forward to building that relationship with the community. Um, uh, I've had uh, previous uh, developments that I had, previous jobs that I had, programs that I've been excited with, and now I'm look, looking forward to bringing them over here to Manchester. That's great. Well, thank you for joining me. Welcome to Manchester. Thank you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. And now joining us, Heather Garcia, a new fourth grade teacher at Bowers Elementary. Welcome to Manchester, Heather. Thank you so much for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. I graduated uh, last May from Central Connecticut State University uh, as a math major in elementary education. And I just did a long-term sub at Bowers at the end of the year last year, and I've been lucky enough to stay, and now I get to continue my journey there this That's year. That's great. Tell us a little bit about what interested you and why you wanted to come work in Manchester and um, maybe Bowers in particular since you have some experience there. Yeah, Bowers is a wonderful school. Um, every school I've subbed at and worked at in Manchester has been great. Um, but particularly Bowers has such a great community atmosphere. The parents are involved. Students are happy. It's such a positive atmosphere. and It's a great place to work and come to every single day. Excellent. Uh, can you tell us sort of uh, a couple things that you're most excited about doing this year or perhaps some goals you have um, in your classroom this year? Absolutely. Um, I'm looking forward to challenging all of my students and getting to know them and their families and what makes them tick. And uh, I look forward to challenging myself as well, becoming the best teacher I can be to help these kids reach their potential. Very good. And I understand today you're going to decorate your classroom. Yes, I've been there since 8 this morning <laughs> and I'm going back and very, very exciting. Glad to hear it. Well, welcome to Manchester. Thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you so much. All right. And now joining us is Noelle Coleman, social studies teacher at Manchester High School. Welcome, Noelle. Hi, thanks. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Um, I taught for five years in New York City high school social studies, um, which was really exciting. Um, and I'm really excited to be here in Manchester as well. Can you tell us what you taught in um in New York City? Yeah, I taught almost everything. Um, I taught global history, I taught AP government, I taught government and economics. Any particular one of those areas that's your favorite area? My favorite is um, in New York, there are two years of global history, and my, first, my favorite is the first year of global Great. history. Okay. Tell us a little bit about why you were interested in coming to work in the Manchester Public Schools. Um, there's a couple of reasons, but um, one is I love the diversity coming from a place like New York. Manchester has a lot of diversity um, racially, ethnically, and socioeconomically, um, which I think is a really good fit for me. Um, and I also love the vision of the school district. Um, I feel like I'll be able to have a really great impact here um, and make a difference. So I wanted to, to come here. That's great. Glad to hear that. Tell us um, some goals you have for this year or something that you're, a couple things that you're really excited about doing in your classroom with students this year. I'm really excited to meet the kids. Um, I really love interacting with students um, and I'm really excited just to get back in the classroom and do social studies and get kids excited about history um, and you know the world around them and current events like that. So, Very good. Well, yeah. we're glad to have you here. Thank you very much Thank for joining you. me. Very good. Thanks. And now joining us is Colleen Murphy, new school counselor at Manchester High School. Welcome to Manchester, Colleen. Thank you. Thank you. Colleen, could you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Um, I graduated from University of Connecticut in, um, with a master's degree in school counseling in 2013. And I worked for Hartford in a year um, last year. 
and now I'll be in Manchester, so I'm very excited. Tell me, um, what about Manchester interested you? Why, why did you um, choose to come and work here in Manchester? I've heard really great things about this district from many people, people that work here, um, you know, just everybody. And it just, the, the vibe I got when I walked into the building and how welcome I was, it's, it was amazing. So I can't wait to work and with all the new changes, you know, the new academies, I'm so excited. I'm glad to hear that. Tell me, do you have um, a goal or two or um, some things you're excited about doing with your students this year? Yeah, um, I'm really excited to meet the kids because all I see right now is their face on the computer screen. So, you know, I'm really excited to see them, meet them, um, just hear like about their, you know, their classes and what they like about school. Um, and I'm really excited to get into the classroom as well. You know, school counselors do go into the classroom so I'm very excited about that as well so tell us just for our listeners at home give me a few examples of um, things school counselors would do in classrooms um, we talk about well we use Naviance, so we talk about you know college applications so we talk to the juniors and the seniors about you know going how to apply to college and how to use Naviance um, we talk about time management and you know stress management as well so those Great. are some things very good. Well, thank you and welcome to Manchester. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. And now I'm joined by Mike Rizzo, new teacher in grade four at Highland Park School. Mike, welcome to Man the Manchester Public Schools. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. I've uh, had a successful career for the last 20 years in the insurance business. Uh, the last 10, I owned my own agency and um, just experienced a lot of contact with people and um, really got a good idea for how to interact with people and be successful uh, on my own in, in business. What interested you, out of curiosity, after your career, what interested you in teaching? Well, I, I'm vested in the Manchester Public Schools. My son was a student here from K through 12, and I uh, learned a lot about the public schools through that and also my tenure on the board. And I decided that I wanted to do something with my career that um, would be important, would make a difference, and apply myself to something that I felt was valuable. And I found that the Manchester Public Schools uh, was, a, was a good place to, to do that. And public education in general and all the changes that have gone on over the years with that, I find it very vibrant and an exciting uh, career to, uh, to be participating in. Great. Talk to us about um, maybe something you're excited about um, as you get into your classroom or some goals that you might have for you and your students. I'm very excited about meeting my fourth graders. I have uh, wanted to teach fourth grade since I did my internship and I find them to be very interesting individuals and a lot of fun and um, you can converse with them, you can have good conversations with them. So I'm excited about meeting them, I'm excited about participating with them in their education in the classroom and doing some really fun things and making their education uh, active, engaged and, and fun for them. Great, glad to hear. Well, glad to have you here. Thank you Welcome very much. Welcome to Manchester. And now joining us is Matt Delaney, new English teacher at Manchester High School. Welcome to Manchester, Matt. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Absolutely. Um, well, first of all, I worked for Verizon Wireless for eight years. So, you know, that has been my job for, okay. for almost a decade. So prior to that, um, I had, I'm from Massachusetts originally. So I met my wife. She's from New York. And we settled down in Connecticut, <laughs> nice in the middle, you know, of our family. So that was good. Um, but during my time at Verizon Wireless, I learned a lot. But I just wasn't really fulfilled in my life. And I started to look for other options in my, you know, career-wise. And I thought teaching was a great opportunity to, for me to get everything I want out of life. I want to be able to contribute to society. I want to help kids. Um, I love to learn myself. And I thought it was just an excellent opportunity. And when I found Manchester High to have an opening, I was, I was you know, so excited. Um, I was out of my skin. So I was really happy to have the opportunity to interview. And I'm very excited to, to start. That's great. Tell us um, why you were interested in working in Manchester. Sure. Well, um, such a diverse community. Um, I live now in West Hartford. Okay. I've lived previously in Hamden, okay. um, in Connecticut. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm familiar with the different areas. I'm getting, again, I'm from Massachusetts originally, so I'm still, you know, where is that, you know, parts of western, northwestern Connecticut. I don't hear about that town. But Manchester, everybody talks about. I spent some time. I've known some people who grew up in Manchester. Um, I've heard a lot about Manchester, Manchester High School, the Manchester Public Schools. And it just seems 
seems like a perfect fit for me. I'm very big on diversity. I like bigger schools also. Um, I think there's a lot, of a lot to learn um, from a lot of different people from diverse backgrounds, and um, that's, that's what drew me to Manchester. Great. Tell us what you're most excited about as we go into the 2014-15 school year. Uh, I'm, I'm most excited about learning from veteran teachers because okay. I've, I've spent the last year of my life. I went to UConn graduate school, uh, so I spent the last year of my life um, you know, just delving into philosophy of education. Okay. And I did get an opportunity to student teach in Hartford, so that was a nice you know, way for me to get my feet wet and learn some, for some, um, from some veteran teachers over there. But I'm really excited to learn from vet veteran teachers here and hopefully be a bridge um, between you know, modern philosophies of education and everything that you know, a veteran teacher can show me um, uh, you know, on how to navigate a classroom. That's great. Well, good luck. Have a great school year. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you so much. I All appreciate right. it. I look forward to it. Our next guest is Cynthia Sonia Mariano, the new director of the Preschool Center. Cynthia, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Um, well, prior to taking this new position as the principal of the Manchester Preschool Center, um, I spent two years here at the high school uh, as assistant principal. And prior to that, I've had um, years of experience as an ELL teacher, as well as a bilingual science teacher and world language teacher. Great. So it's been exciting. And tell us, what interested you about the Preschool Center? Uh, well, definitely, uh, I, by working here at the high school, I saw the initiatives that we had and you know what the end product should look like for a student. Um, so I was excited because I could start fresh from the beginning and knowing what the model should look like at the end, um, getting a head start with, with kids and, and offering them you know, a rich environment um, so they can become lifelong learners. So I'm excited about that and continuing my work uh, with the Manchester community. Um, with my staff as well as the parents. Uh, could you maybe share a goal or two that you have for your students or the staff or yourself for the upcoming school year? Yeah, uh, well my goal is that our center becomes a center of excellence, a model that can be replicated nationwide, um, and through that, um, that we continue to offer our kids and our students and families um, a rich curriculum, but as well as a nurturing environment that is playful and is one that you know, kids get excited to come to every day. That's great. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Have a great year. Thanks. Our next guest is Roy Roberts, new high school assistant principal at Manchester High. Roy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Roy, could you tell us a little bit about your background? Yeah, I'm from uh, Brentwood High School in Island, New York, home of the Indians. And, uh, um, you know, just loved, loved school. Uh, went to college at Central. Uh, got my bachelor's degree from there in history. Uh, been Got my master's degree from University of Hartford and my six-year degree, and uh, been I was teacher for I don't know, 12 or 13 years or so, something like that, and they all start to blend together after a while, and then uh, now I'm I'm where I need to be. Great. Tell us uh, what interested you. Why were you interested in working at Manchester and at Manchester High? Well, Manchester High is a great school district, and uh, it's really fun to be here. It's great in uh, diversity. I live in town. My kids go to school district, so I definitely believe in the Manchester school system and. Uh, I love it. I think it's a great place to be. I think it has a lot to offer kids, and uh, it's really a great, great working environment. Tell us uh, what kind of work you're looking forward to. I understand you're going to be the assistant principal in the freshman center. Talk to us about uh, goals you have for the freshmen for this year. For the freshmen this year, we definitely want to move toward um, getting them to, to, to really think about life after high school a little bit earlier now and get them more motivated about the, what, what, how high school is going to fly by in the blink of an eye. And uh, by, by the time they know it, they're going to be walking across that stage, graduating. And we want to make sure they walk out of here with a, 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 the, the best education in the state of Connecticut. And, um, you know, the freshman year, they got to get off to a good start. So we're going to definitely do some things this year to try and uh, ramp it up. And uh, last year, I'm taking over for Mr. Farrell, who did a great job, and I'm going to follow in his footsteps. Tell me, because I know our, our guests at home are interested. You also serve as the high school football coach. Talk to us about how the team looks as we head into the, uh, the season in a couple weeks. Yeah, the guys have been great. And um, really, it was a huge transition for me here, you know, being hired by our principal at the time. And uh, <laughs> he, uh, you know, that was definitely, I'm thankful for that. And, but, but the kids have been great. Really, this high school was huge. And I, was, I got lost several times uh, in my first couple of days here. And the kids were the ones walking me around. The players were saying, Coach, here's where you got to go. Here's who you need to meet. And uh, so they really helped with my transition. But uh, we're really looking forward to doing some great things, and uh, we're looking forward to bringing home the first state championship in the history of the school. Glad to hear it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Welcome to Manchester. All right. Thank All you. Right. 
Our next guest on MPS Pride is Jill Krieger, the new principal of Manchester High School. Welcome, Jill, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Jill, could you tell the viewers at home a little bit about your background? Yes, um, I have come to an administration in a little bit different way than a lot of people, but um, I have come here from Enfield High School, where I was the principal. Uh, before that, I was at Wethersfield High School as an assistant principal for five years. And um, before that, my entire career was as a social worker, for first uh, in a variety of community service agencies and then through school systems as a school social worker. Wow, nice. Um, can you tell us what interests you about Manchester, why you decided you wanted to work in Manchester High School? Um, Manchester High School really excites me. Uh, first of all, high schools are where my passion is. That's where I belong. Uh, I really have no interest in working in another level of schools. I love teenagers and high school age kids. Um, Manchester High School uh, appealed to me on, on a number of levels. Um, partly, it was all the exciting things happening here um, and the initiatives going on. And, but probably more strongly than anything else were uh, the beliefs that I think are here around really believing in all students. We should have high expectations for all students and that a positive school climate is really important and contributes to that. And so that's, those are things that are near and dear to my heart and that I believe in very strongly and I believe that they're here. So, um, so that really uh, was what drew me here. And do you have any um, either goals for this year or want to share sort of something you're excited about um, or both? Um, my goals for this year, as you know, there's a lot of new initiatives happening here that I really support and am excited about and proud of. Um, so I really, as you know, we have lots of new academies happening. I, my goals this year are to really get all of those things, the academies, the power hour, um, off and running and to be really successful and to really promote those things that are important to us, which is raising expectations for all students and improving school climate. And, contributing to those things. And so you mentioned the Power Hour, which is um, a popular uh, topic. Can you just tell the viewers at home a little bit about the Power Hour? Yeah, we're really excited about Power Hour. It's something we put a lot of focus on. I know the school did last year, but we have also this summer and the administrative team as we prepare for the school year. And it's really uh, an hour every day in the middle of the day from 11.15 to 12.15 where students are unscheduled and they have an opportunity, obviously, to eat their lunch during that time period, but also to um, get extra help with teachers, uh, make up things that they might have missed, to practice things that are like an instrument or something that's important to them, uh, to go to Makerspace, which is a new space in the building where kids have an opportunity to go and do creative and innovative kind of things, um, an opportunity to socialize with their friends, all those things. So um, it's it's different. It's something that I think will be new to new to Connecticut. I'm really excited that we're the district and the school that's doing it. And I think um, it's giving a really strong message to our students that we have faith in them and that we believe in them and that we think this is a good thing for them. Well, thank you very much for coming on. You're welcome. Have a great thank year. you. Now joining us on MPS Pride is Scott Ratchford, Director of Teaching and Learning. Scott, thank you for joining us. Could you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Um, my background is, is kind of varied. I started out my career as a uh, teacher of English, uh, sort of followed one of my first loves, loved you know, teaching, I mean, sorry, loved being a writer and loved literature, so followed that into the classroom. And then uh, connecting up with kids uh, around uh, their learning issues and, and issues in their lives, I, I followed that into uh, the next part of my career, which is in school psychology where I was a school psychologist. I started out in Danbury and then moved up to the center of the state in West Hartford. Uh, and then went from there into school leadership. I uh, wanted to do some bigger picture work and so here I am. Um, most recent work was as a middle school principal over in Berlin, Connecticut. Excellent. Yeah. Tell us about what drew you to the Manchester Public Schools. Uh, I think what draws me here is, is, I'll go back to the beginning of my career, I'm somebody who really likes to work with, um, you know, a, a, a very a varied and broad kind of a, a spectrum of learners and, and people. Um, Manchester reminds me a lot of, of where I grew up. It's a community that has a little of everything, which is, is great. I mean, to me, we want to ready kids for the real world, and this feels like the real world to me. Um, and I, I like to think that um, we need people to work with. Uh, schools and, and students who come from a whole variety of backgrounds. So to me, this is where we should be doing our work. Could you share maybe a goal or something you're ex really excited about uh, as you think about your work for 2014-15? Yeah, I think probably a, a really an important part of the work we're doing this year is around writing. We're trying as a district to take a good hard look at how we're teaching writing 
and trying to use um, you know consistent approach for all teachers. That's not to say the same approach, but making sure the teachers understand the basics of what good practice looks like. And also speaking some of the same language to kids so that students in first grade would hear teachers talking about writing in the same way that they would in their, their senior year and not be confused by different terms and a different approach. So um, that's exciting work. And in addition to that, we're really started rolling out brand new curricula for much of the district. <laughs> and uh, it's exciting to see that teams of teachers put that together and now they're actually going to work together to put it into, into um, implementation with kids. So it's going to be a good year. Great. Glad to hear it. Thanks for coming on the show. All right. Thank you. All right. Our next guest is Santasha Oliver, Director of Teaching and Learning for STEAM. Santasha, welcome to the show. Thank you. Can you give us a little bit of your background for the folks at home? Absolutely. I would say my educational path began uh, way back at UConn where I obtained my PhD in biomedical science. I then went on to a local school district where I served as the district-wide coordinator of assessment evaluation and research. I also taught secondary science for a few years, went on to be a building uh, assistant principal at a STEM school, and now I am the director of STEAM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. Very good. Tell us what drew you to work in Manchester. Actually, I feel like I've made a full circle. I actually grew up in Manchester. Okay. I attended Manchester Public Schools K through 12. Uh, so to come home, it was definitely a homecoming. And in addition to that, the diversity is something that I uh, absolutely love about Manchester. Talk to us about um, either your goals for the year or an initiative that you're really excited about coming out of the STEAM office uh, or both. Uh, I would say in general, I think that uh, we've noticed the need to better prepare students for careers in science and technology. Um, and so one of our major focuses for this year will be to improve our instructional practices, but also to enhance our curriculum to better align with the Common Core State Standards and also better prepare students in areas of science, technology, engineering, and math which we refer to as STEAM. And most recently, um, actually as recent as July 1st, we've actually added an arts component to that. And so as just stated now, we have a STEAM program here in Manchester. You mentioned the Common Core State Standards. That's yes. a controversial topic in Absolutely. some places. Can you give us um, a few moments on sort of the, the differences we see in the Common Core with respect to mathematics? Absolutely. I think one of the biggest differences is actually the focus. So in years past, I think that there was um, a, um, a lot of material, a lot of content, a lot of different topics that were covered in a single academic year uh, and maybe not as much breadth. So now we're, um, or depth rather, so now we're actually looking at increasing that depth and making sure that students have a balance of both conceptual and procedural understanding. Very good. Sounds exciting. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Have a great year. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining us on our first episode of MPS Pride. A reminder, you can find us on Channel 16 and on the Manchester Public Schools website each month.